Hey there, YouTube. Hey, we're making a video here today. A um, little bit of uh, some changes going on here too. Um, I started uh, You Are Not a Robot Consulting and been doing some uh, business training and and uh, that is outside of just motorcycle mechanics. Uh, a lot of people on the channel have noticed um, how many times that what I'm teaching about accountability, integrity, customer service um, applies to many other fields. So. With that, that's kind of grown into a, a new thing that we're doing here, and that is uh, at You're Not a Robot uh, mm -hmm. Training Center. Uh, I'm offering actual hands-on training where I'll give you the perfect example for what we're going to do today. So my pal Steve here has his uh, V-Strom. Yes. And, uh, you know, every year before we go on our bike trips, he's like, yeah, he helped me change my oil. And, and we're kind of laughing about the fact of, really getting to the point of you change your oil you know and and, and you want to right right absolutely. so but the reality of it is is if you don't do this on a regular basis what happens you forget yeah i mean you're not going to remember all those tips and tricks or whatnot so where this is growing into is you can rent lift space from me i will teach you the service as you're going and here's the great thing about it. We make a video of it and you get a copy of the video. And now next year, next time when you go to do that service, because you just like learning about this and maybe uh, doing it as a hobby. Exactly. On your own bike. Yes. So with that, he can reference the video, let's say the night before, or you could, and uh, review the material and go, oh, you know what? I forgot. There's a really good tip. You should do this to the bolt or whatever. And then be able to confidently repeat that service and know that your bike is going to be safe, good, and ready to go. Um, I can't stress enough if you're doing this as a hobby to have your work checked by a trained mechanic. Um, you you got to do your research. You got to, like I said, if you don't do it all the time, you need to realize the risk that you're taking compared to uh, the craftsmen and experts that are out there. We only have two wheels, so let's make sure that we're working really safe. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.